All right, in a one-to-one -one environment where all the students have MacBooks or MacBook Airs, occasionally we find that they will bring in games on their computers and then turn off their airport so they can't be observed using Apple Remote Desktop. So we have a fix for that. I'm going to show you how I came about the uh, fix and also how to implement it using Apple Remote Desktop. So I did a little, little bit of searching around on the internet and uh, found some different possible ways to do that and I put together two little uh, commands to run in a Unix script or using the Unix command from uh, Remote Desktop. And I will put those in the description so you can copy and paste them for yourself. So here's the MacBook I'm dealing with. It's Abigail's MacBook. I'm going to actually go to Unix and I'm going to paste these in. And we'll see on her MacBook, uh, we set it to EN1. That is because a MacBook does have a built-in network uh, cable for a wired network connection. If it's on a MacBook Air, this needs to be set to EN0 because MacBook Airs only have one network interface by default. And we need to run this task as root, otherwise it won't take. So when I set those up, I've got require admin power toggle set to yes and require admin IBSS set to yes. That way we will block computer to computer networks and we will also require them to have an admin password before they turn off their airport. I'm going to click send and there it goes. To be able to recall that later I'm going to double click this and you'll see that we can actually set up a template and we do save as template and we're going to call this uh, require admin toggle airport so I'll know what it is later. It also includes the command that says it's running as root so I'll close that out and you'll see if I select a computer out of the scanner here we'll pick the mini here hit Unix, I go up to template, and you'll see it says require admin, and there's my commands, they're input automatically there. Just to check, uh, just to verify, I'm gonna go over into the MacBook, click on advanced again, you'll see that it says, it doesn't have a change listed there, but if I log in as a test user, we will see under network, advanced, you'll see that now this is a standard user, you can see that those are clicked, and they're grayed out. Also, if I try to turn off the airport, it requires an administrator username and password, which this user does not have. Presumably your students would not have that either. And that's how it's done.